Oh, <laughs> my brain won't let me do it. It's so gross. On a recent episode of Dear Hank and John, a viewer wrote in to ask whether you could prepare noodles in any liquid other than water. There are two liquids that I could come up with. There's oil, but I am more interested in, in the ethanol question. In theory, if you can boil ethanol, you would be able to prepare pasta inside of a vat of ethanol. However, I think you need a pressure cooker in order to get the ethanol cooker. hot enough to actually cook it. Do not do this in a home pressure cooker because I'm pretty sure that it would create an explosion, but I do want a booze noodle. And since Hank wanted to try them, I was on the case. Can you make booze noodles without using a pressure cooker? I started with some research into alcohol retention in cooking, and I watched this excellent video by Adam Ragusea, where he goes into this study that was done in the 80s about how much alcohol is retained in various dishes. And it varies from dish to dish, but the main takeaway I got was, the faster I can cook the noodles, the boozier they will be. And while this technically works from an alcohol absorption perspective in that you do retain a lot of the alcohol in the noodles, <coughs> you also have the problem of... I'm a f***ing idiot. If you think outside the box though, there's a really cool workaround. Hank and I both wrongly assume that you have to boil your noodles in the alcohol. But pasta making is actually a two-part process part rehydration of the noodles, and part actual cooking. As it turns out, these steps can actually be done separately. So instead of boiling vodka, simply leave your noodles in room temperature spirits for about an hour or two, and after they're fully rehydrated, add them to a boiling hot sauce to cook them. If done correctly, the noodles should have a texture very similar to pasta cooked the traditional way, but... Oh, that tastes like sick. Using ramen is even easier because that's already pre-cooked right from the store. Soaking the ramen for about 30 minutes at room temperature will get you the exact same noodle texture as you would following the package instructions. To make them more palatable, I warmed them up and then I powered through an entire package of ramen just to prove that this actually works. Oh, they're so bad. They taste really bad and they kind of burn in your mouth because of all the alcohol that's in them. But to like have a full drink, you have to eat most of this bowl. I mean, you get used to the mouthfeel. The real thing that like rocks me to my core is the like feeling of like pouring Listerine directly down my throat. But I've eaten the entire bowl now. So we're gonna wait about 20 minutes for accuracy's sake because right now my mouth is obviously full of alcohol. I look good already. All right, oh, man, I feel the effects of the alcohol. So we're just gonna blow into this. Uh, <laughs> Point oh four. There you go. So it works. Hank, I think it's time you make yourself some noodles. Because God knows I do not want to have gone through this in vain.